J. Now, how many names can you think of beginning with the letter J in the Bible? Yeah, Jacob, Jeremiah, yeah, and even Jesus. But today, wait for it, let's turn the wheel. What, what's coming up now? Joanna. Yes, Joanna. That's an actual name of a woman in the Bible. Now, Joanna was married to Cusa, and they were both working in Herod's household. In the book of Luke, we find out a little bit about Joanna. She was a devoted disciple of the one. Yeah, that's what he used to call Jesus at the time. To whom she owed so much. Do you know what her name means? Come on, have a go. Yeah, it means the Lord gives graciously. And do you know what? Joanna was so thrilled with the way in which Jesus healed her. She was one of quite a few women who were healed by Jesus. So she thought that God was so gracious unto her. She and quite a few women also supported the disciples. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes they were quite poor and they gave up their money and of their time to help them. Being a disciple or follower of Jesus, she would speak about him all the time. And that was so cool because she worked for Herod. So she got a chance to witness to loads of people. But do you know what fascinated me about her? She and so many women followed Jesus and followed his trial and followed him even unto death. In other words, they were there when he died. And it is believed that she was one of the women who helped to put spices on his body as they prepared his body for burial. So what's our takeaway? What can we learn from Joanna's life? Well, first of all, what really struck me was her humility. She was so humble. She did so much for the disciples and never boasted about that. In fact, she quietly and efficiently did her job, but yet while doing that, told so many people about Jesus. But the last thing that I really admired about Joanna is that she ministered to his body after he had died. Come on, you know some people tend to show off a lot, but Jesus was dead. He didn't know what she was doing. Yet she did it quietly and efficiently and she showed her love and care of him even after he had died. Now that I find amazing. So she wasn't looking for fame or glory, but that's what she did. She had her eyes and heart so fixed on Jesus that she and the other women were the first to notice that his tomb was empty. So this week, Let's ask God to help us do as Matthew suggests. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. And not waste about it. Okay? Let's have a great week now. That's all for Alpha Biblical. Amen.